another vlog. It's November the 3rd, the 4th, somewhere in there. <laughs> um, I finished work earlier today. I still need to clock in my hours because I kind of just wanted to disconnect from my computer as soon as I got done. And I was cleaning my office, which desperately needed to be organized after all the events and after all the chaos. And I put on little kind of Christmassy decoration. Now I want to work on my new collection that I want to have made into pins for Holiday Matsuri. So I have this idea and I'll show you guys in a little bit. It's, um, they're cute cryptic girls and um, I want to have them as pins. Um, and I treated myself and bought a gasha machine, which I've been wanting to get for a very long time. And they're gonna be like gasha machine items for the little cryptid um, pins. So due to me working on this pins really, really quickly, just so I can send them to my manufacturer so I can get them here in time for the convention, I did not feel myself working on this whatsoever. Um, so they are inspired by Mothman, a jackalope, a kappa, a rokubi, uh, a roku rokubi, sorry, and a kitsune. So three of them are of Japanese folklore origin, and then the other two are um, U.S. folklore, which are the Mothman and the jackalope. I just absolutely love how these all turn out, but I have to say that the kappa and the jackalope are my favorite. Um, Finished product wise, the jackalope, the colors, I just absolutely love. But the kappa, even as a sketch, I just love her so much. She just looks so soft and like, like bubbly. <laughs> This is the character I drew uh, that I designed. I think this reference shows her full body and it's this cute little lamp girl. So I had sketches and outlined this a hella long time ago and never finished it. So I finished coloring it and prep it so it could be a sticker. And I decided to do the same with this other character design that I haven't really done much with it. And it's a really cute um, kind of like psychedelic bunny cat, bunny cat, <laughs> a psychedelic bunny clown. I'm in the middle of a string and I'm trying to work on a sticker design, but my capsule machine just got here. So we're going to be opening. Let me see where I put the vlogging camera so I can vlog this in a different angle. But like, ah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to open it and try it out. You can see the mess of cables, but it's fine. Fine. My office is really organized, so it's okay. Yeah. Nothing my blog has not seen before. around until I got it and um, this will be the sketchbook um, booklet I'll be selling uh, so it has a few sketches and then more of like a finished view of them um, some of them are just the sketches um, and whatnot um, so yeah I, I'm really happy how it turned out this paper that I bought I'll link it um, if I can turn on the page, it would be great. Um, it has like a really nice effect, but it's also really thin that it makes this like easy to fold and whatnot. So yeah, I'm really excited. Look at it. It's so pretty. So I'm probably, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one as a sample and display that people can flip through. And then the other ones are going to be packed into like a cello bag or something. Um, but yeah, this is this is what it looks like. And then on the back, I just did like a QR code and I have this pattern that I, I 
I don't know what I used it for. I think it was for some temporary like thank you cards. Um, and I just used it for the back of this and put like just my logo and a QR code with all my socials. So yeah, all I have to do is work on a day of printing them because they do take a while um, and decide how many I'm going to print. Hi guys. So I just got um, our pin order on the mail, which is great because it's still the week of Thanksgiving. So it's just in time for um, holiday matsuri for me to like prep everything and um especially because there's a there's one design of the pride pins here so it's perfect so i was bl gonna blog in on my vlogging camera but it has no battery so we're gonna open it here and let's just let's just take a look at it shall we because i'm i'm really excited um i wasn't expecting them this week to be honest i thought they were gonna take a bit longer um <clears throat> so when it said like oh hi roxas like out for delivery i was like oh wow, what <laughs> which i'm glad honestly better early than potentially not being being here in time oh my god okay so uh the first one that i see here is our kappa girl which huh so this one's supposed to have just one on the back they put two I mean, I'm not too mad, to be honest. It gives it a little bit more support, but it also made them bigger, I think. Huh. I, I'm hoping that it still fits inside the... the Gasha machine. But this is a little Kappa girl. Oh, she's so cute. This is a little jackalope. Oh my god, she's so cute! Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, the glitter just like looks so good. Look at her. She's so pretty. I'm just gonna gonna get so this one should be like the pin. So this is just a non-binary uh moth pin. This is just a restock, so nothing new there. This one is the Roku Roku B. Oh, oh, I love how her little face came out. Oh, look at her little face. Oh, I'm so happy with this one. I kind of like that the eyeliner made the, the edges just be like a little like bubble here. Um, so yeah, so this one fits super nicely. Um, I think Moss Girl is the one that I haven't tried. Yeah, fits super nice too. I think the Jackalope is the only one that is like a little bit of a snog fit. Yep, because this one fits pretty comfortable too. Pretty comfortable, it doesn't close. Oop. Oop. This one I think, oh, this one I think went a little bit over the size of it. Just a tiny bit and it still squishes in. There we go. This one doesn't move at all. Doesn't rattle on the inside. But yeah, those are the five new designs. I'm really, really happy how it came out. The only one that I have like a little bit of a, oh, I wish it was a little bit different. It's the, the moth one because of what I mentioned that it all looks kind of like the same shade, um, but it's still super pretty and the glitter just looks super pretty in it. Today, I am very, very tired socially, so um, I was going to play Pokemon all day, but honestly, the anxiety of, like, I have not been able to run down on my to-do list is bothering me, so what I'm going to do is start on my to-do list, um, like, start working on it. So two things that I can do is, one, um, start printing stickers or start printing the art book. Okay, so office is a lot more organized now. Um, I am, I do have a poppy pad on my desk and I'll explain. So I always get very messy when I refill my inks and I tried this last time and it worked great. <laughs> so I did all my ink refill on top of my, um, 
my poppy pad and it absorbed all the excess ink. I normally use paper towel and stuff, but it was never enough or like something leaked to the desk or something. So this worked really, really good last time. And for the first time ever, I remember, hey, wear gloves. Actually, second time. So wearing gloves, I'm gonna ink, I'm gonna ink all my refills, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna refill all my ink. Round of stickers are me on the go. Um, I am just going to uh, take a little walking break while this prints out. I'm probably gonna move these because there's just gonna be a lot of printing. Oh, I love how this came out. Look at that, baby. the things that I've done. Um, yesterday I did the <clears throat> display of my little gadget machine. Um, so I'm really glad how it turned out. I was washing peach and just got to work. And then today I am making the little inserts that are gonna be in the uh, capsules with the, which is designed. So um, let me see if you can submit. So it's pretty small. But it just says inspired by what creature, the origin, and then a little um, descriptions. Uh, I try to write a bit, like paraphrase a bit of what I read in different sites. So yeah, I did my best. I'm not a good writer. I try to proofread, proofread them as much as possible. So I'm hoping they're okay. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like.
start printing the sketchbook now. Oh, Fox decided to join in. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start printing uh, this. So I'm printing the very first sheet. Uh, this is what it looks like. So it's like the cover page and the first page. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna print it. So for for anyone that's printing out of the Clip Studio, by the way, um, for the longest time I forgot to check to no margins, and that way it actually doesn't create any margins. Um, so you just go to page setup and do borderless here, um, and, and that's how you do it. But I don't know why I I just didn't check that before, but I never did. But yeah, that's how I do it. So I'm just gonna print ten. It's a little bit of a mess. I am trying not to use heat because uh, I am getting my hair professionally done for the first time in forever. Uh, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, so I just been trying to kind of avoid just putting heat on my hair. So I just been leaving my hair natural. Um, but anyway, it is Saturday and it's, I believe it's 6 or 7 p.m. I can't remember. Um, and today I woke up a little bit late because I was talking to Peach and Evan till like 1 or 2 a.m. tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, yesterday. Um, and then I woke up, took my car for some service today. Um, we went to a, uh, I think it's the only revolving sushi bar restaurant here in Florida, um, which it was really good. I couldn't just sit and, and play Pokemon, which is what I was going to do today because I, it, it was just so much food that I need to do something and just kind of walk around the house or something. So what I decided to do is um, try out my table setup. Okay, so this is why you practice your setup before you do anything. So I am not sure how I set up last time that I had enough of these ones. Um, I don't know if some broke in between conventions or I misplaced them. I can't seem to find them, so I'm just gonna make an order of a set of this ones because I have a couple more of these ones that are more like a base, but this one, I seem to not have enough. So. Um, I'm gonna make an order now, so they're on the way already. But this is why you practice, because all of a sudden, things are not where you left, like left them. And it's just better to have some extra and not need them, than then you're trying to set up and then you can't set up how you were thinking of due to not having something. So this is why you practice. <laughs> Okay, so I order just the things, like the connectors, but I think I might have to just order a whole new set of those. Um, Cause I'm thinking this is how I did this size last year. And then, so I did just this and up, and then this was on the middle, right? And then the other side was parallel to this. Um. Because I need to put the toe backs. I was thinking of putting the toe backs here. Um, but hold on, let me show you. So if I grab a toe, oh God, I almost fell. If I grab a toe bag and I'm gonna take them off the hanger, right? Like it's just too big, I think, to be here. 
like see so i was thinking that maybe just maybe create a second extension to this side um roxas can you move please <laughs> Um, so I'm not gonna do the middle because I know how the middle looks. Okay, so I was thinking of doing this, like an extension on the side. And I don't have enough cubes right now. But then it'll be brought all over the height because if I push this back, it fits perfectly like that. Um, I just need more panels. Um, and instead of having it flat here to add more structure, make a little cube and it's still I can feed three square this place and then do the extension here on the side. Um, so for that, I just need an entire new set of like the whole system, um, which is 30 bucks. So it's not too bad. Um, um, and then that way I can put the tote bags on the sides like this. I don't know how I'm gonna hang them yet, but I can still put them here, right? And then there's like, space it doesn't look too crowded you know okay so i think this is kind of like the setup sort of um so it's gonna be two panels like this um on either side and then a line on the center here with my prints um and i took out i think i mentioned at one point that i was gonna do like a cube here so i can have storage on the back I discarded that because I actually like having uh, space on the table better. And what I'm gonna do is for storage for us to put things like the bags where I give people order, the business card, things like that, our water bottle, is I'm gonna take my little crafting three tier car um, and use that. I took that last year and I've taken it to a few events and it's a lifesaver because you can just roll it out of place. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here just because I have been filming a lot of prep for this convention, including November and stuff that I don't want to make like a super long vlog again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the vlogs into like a more preppy, preppy, a more like preparations of the convention, setting stickers, designing and stuff like that to actually last minute prep inventory and everything and the actual convention because I, I have set up for myself now that I have a proper vlogging camera to vlog more during the during the actual convention will i do it i don't know because i forget that my camera is here but i'm gonna try my freaking best to do so because i want to i really like looking back at the videos of conventions so um i am going to make the cut here so i can film more footage <laughs> so i can have a whole separate vlog um so i hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the prep and enjoy everything that i've been working on um if you have any questions of um how to set up your set up your setup prep your setup um or anything that i use um feel free to come in feel free to um message me i take a while to answer dms but i normally do uh and i i can uh, Help you out if you're trying to find something again if you want any of the products i will be listing them below if you guys are interested in anything in particular um and yeah with that i will see you guys in this one